Welcome to the first Deadman tournament in almost a year. One month long, no restrictions, something we've been looking forward to for ages. If you've been around since I played the last Deadman, you know I love providing you the best and quickest PK content possible. And for those of you guys who are new, this Deadman is no different, I'll be rushing through DT in order to get PK ready as quick as possible. Make sure you're subscribed for the future videos, and let's get started. Okay, I got my 10k. Okay, with our 30k, we're gonna buy ourselves rune gloves. We do not want Barrow's gloves yet, obviously. That's just too expensive. Okay, now we just need to get training till 60 magic. Or 45 magic, in fact. Alright, that's 45 mage. We can get the hell out of here. We got 45 mage and 20 death. That's all we needed. Uh, we're gonna make our way to rock crabs now. Okay, finally we got some bone bolts. Everything's sold out, but we got bone bolts and some law runes. We're just gonna go get our range to 60 now. Okay, that's 28 range. I'm currently playing three accounts, so this is gonna take a while. I'm just gonna switch to long range, get... Oh wait, what am I talking about? I'm already 20 def. I can put this shit on. I kind of forgot that. So now I'm just gonna get 60 range or so, and then I'm gonna start getting my def up to 40. Alright, that's 58 range. I'm just gonna put it on long range for now, and we're gonna finish off 60 range as well as get some defense levels. Ideally get 40 to defense. Alright, 40 defense, 59 range, we're just finishing up 60 range now, and then we're gonna get started with the quests. Alright, that is 60 range, we need to get out of here. We need to get ourselves 20 smithing and 10 fletching for tourist trap, and then we're gonna go do tourist trap first. I want to get prayer first, but um, dragon bones aren't selling, I have collected stuff on my other account. Um, the logs, and we also have 7 staminas, which is huge this early. Okay, that's 20 smithing, I'm just gonna get 10 fletching done now. Alright, that's 10 fletching. I just got a knife from the place up here. I'm gonna go start the tourist trap now. Uh, the tourist trap done in 20 minutes. Could have done it a, li a little bit faster, but we're a little bit low IQ with our decisions. Just gonna use it all on thieving, which will help us up loads. Get us to 26 thieving. Alright, we're here at the fruit stalls and we're gonna be here until 53 thieving. Alright, and that is 53 thieving. Let's get out of here. Alright, I'm gonna quickly get 26 agility, I think, and then I'm gonna do 10 herb lore, and then it's time to start the dig site. Okay, just got 26 agility. We're gonna go get ourselves 10 herb lore now, and then we're gonna do the dig site. All right, this is dig site started. We're gonna have to complete it. Shouldn't take us too long with staminas. Okay, and this should be dig site completed. We're three hours, 25 minutes into the tournament right now. Should have brought more staminas for this, but it's all right. We're gonna go move on to Temple of Ikov now. Okay, it's time to start Temple of Ikov. Okay, and that is Temple of Ikov completed. Nice. The dead man is really active right now, and thanks to the fact that there are so many worlds, you can actually buy buckets of slime, which I've never been able to do in a tournament before. I've had to manually collect them, so that's going to make 45 prayer a lot easier. 45 prayer, so now we can move on to doing the waterfall and troll stronghold, which is our final two quests before DT. Okay, it's time to start Troll Stronghold. Should get this done pretty quickly. Then we just have to do Waterfall, and then we can move on to DT. Okay, and this is Troll Stronghold completed, and we can move right on to the Waterfall because we already have a Games Necklace. Nice. Okay, we're about 4 hours 10 into the tournament, and we just started Waterfall. Last pre-quest we have to do on very good pace right now. Okay, and that should be Waterfall done 4 hours 24 minutes into the tournament. Let's get the final requirements for DT, and let's get done with it. Okay, and this is 50 fire making done. Just need to get 18 slayer, which should only honestly be one task, and we need to get 50 magic as well, which we could probably get while we do our task. Alright, that's 50 mage. I really should have brought a bone sebo to speed up these kills, huh? I might go do that. Oh, I got 10 slayer too. I didn't even realize. Okay, I think we're ready to start DT. Um, yep, I'm ready. Okay, exactly five hours in, and we are starting DT. Honestly, could have had it done by now, but things always go wrong with Dead Man. You have to account for a little bit of delay. And I'd say we're still ahead of everyone else on the DT grind because of the stamina we had right from the beginning. So, very big uh, advantage over everyone else, I guess. Okay, I always get unlucky with these lock picks. I don't doubt that this time will be any different, but we'll see. Oh shit, I did it so quickly in like five tries. That's the best I've ever done it. Nice. Okay, time to start Damus. I don't know how you're meant to do it properly, so I literally just bring like seven prayer pots and do it like that. Okay, just realized I have 65k cash in my inventory, which is equivalent to 6.5 mil 07 right now, but that is our first guy done. Damus and our first diamond done. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, that was literally the most dumb camel kill I've ever had, but we've got him down. We have got a chocolate, two chocolate cakes and two lobsters to get to the end of this without dying. Okay, and this should be the diamond. Please, no one be waiting to spec us out. Okay, we're good. We're about to start our third diamond, I think. Hopefully, we just don't get owned by him. Okay, that's our third diamond done. We just need to get the blood diamond now. Okay, we are starting the blood diamond. 
All right, on to Desus, probably the hardest boss. Um, apparently there's some method I can use to take no damage, which I had no idea about, so we're gonna test that out right now. See if it works. It's working. He's glitched. Oh shit, who's this? Hole Hunter. Okay, I think that guy just messed up because I don't think he had everything and he just teleported out. Anyway, we got this guy. Um, let's go collect our diamond. All right, got the last diamond. There's a skull there, which is interesting. Let's go hand them all in. That's all the diamonds filled in. Okay, and this is DT done. Possibly the worst experience I've had with the traps on the pyramid. I got kicked out like six or seven times, but six hours in, DT done. We would have been the first one in the game with DT done if it wasn't for these things pushing me out. But another friend who's in the same team did the same plan as me and beat me because obviously he didn't have the same issues. But DT done in six hours. Um, that's 58 mage, sick. Okay, if I was smart, I would have got some alk so that I can alk my way to 70 mage, but I'm not smart. Anyway, I'm gonna go train my melees right now so I can go start my defender grind. I'll get the nats at some point, it's not really a big deal that I'm not alking right now. Alright, and that's 40 attack, we can switch to this rune skin, we'll get 40 strength now. I don't know if this is the best way to do it, I don't know how to train properly. Okay, that's 41 strength, I'm kind of falling asleep here, but I think I'm gonna put it back on attack maybe, in order to get 60 attack. I just got 60 attack, missed the level, but we can move on to the D skim now. We're still 41 strength, but it should speed up quite a bit. Alright, I am very quickly going to go bank just so I can get some mats out and be a little bit more efficient while I do this. Okay, we banked for some alks and now we're being properly efficient. We also got ourselves a dragon dagger just for the specs. And we're just going to get ourselves to 65, 65 right now. Okay, just got myself 60 strength, we're 60 attack, 61 range, and we're alking ourselves to 70 magic right now. We're on 64 magic. That is 65 strength, now on to attack, we're 67 mage as well, 180 alks or so left, but we'll get to 70 mage, no problem. Okay, and this should be 70 mage, yeah it is, uh, two more attack levels to go, but 8 hours 45 minutes in, DT done, and some very nice looking stats. Alright, I just got 65 attack, double 65s, so only 40 defense, which is a little bit worrying, but we should be fine. Let's make our way to the Warriors Guild. Alright, we got over a thousand tokens here, the stats, we just got ourselves 54 defense really quickly. I'm gonna go use these a thousand tokens and hopefully that's enough for defenders. Okay, barely used any tokens and we've already got ourselves our bronze defender. Better luck so far. Alright, that's 60 def, we're still on our bronze defender but we got 885 tokens. I'm not really that worried, I'm just gonna put it on attack so I can get 78 attack. Shit, didn't even realize, iron defender, nice. Okay, that's a steel defender. We're actually doing fairly good. 200 tokens used and we're already on steel. Nice. God damn, that's the black defender. Nice. We're on 68 attack. Still got 765 tokens. Alright, and we're on to a mithril defender. I'm very excited by this. This is very exciting prospects to me. Alright, a little longer for the next one, but Addy defender. We got less than 500 tokens now. Alright, rude defender. That's what we like to see. Okay, right, we have 400 tokens, let's see if we can get a Dragon Defender in that, or a Tier 5, I'd be happy with either. I rinsed through those tokens, and I have no Dragon Defender. We're 76 attack now, though. Um, let's get back into it, I guess. 77 attack there, one more level until 78 attack. Alright, we have ourselves another 505 tokens, this better work. You're joking me. You're actually joking me. I got 500 tokens, and the first kill is the Dragon Defender. So now I've got 500 tokens, and I have a Dragon Defender. I know, you can see that, that's clear, but this is just- why did- why- why couldn't I just get it before? Okay, I think I'm gonna stay here while I still have all these tokens in the hopes that I get a tier 5 off one of these Cyclopses. A tier 5 is worth double points on Deadman, which means it will be able to buy me a room pouch or a bunch of supplies if I decide to get one. Could just get unlucky and not get one though, they're a 1 in 300 drop rate. Alright, I just hit 78 attack, you may be wondering why I haven't trained my strength at all, I'm literally hitting zeros on the Cyclops. It was all for a good reason, and I'm about to show you. And the reason, ladies and gentlemen, for why we have 78 attack is for the Vesta Longsword. Of course, you know what it is. It's on my other account. It's just chilling. DT done. 78 attack. We have our VLS. Life's good. Should probably have some brews in this setup, but it's whatever. I was going to stay at the Cyclopses to try and camp a tier 5, but I do actually need 60 Slayer just in general for PKing at the Slayer Tower. So that I have a face mask so those specters don't fuck me up. So I'm gonna just chill here with my VLS for a little bit, do my Slayer task, and gain some strength levels. Also get some Slayer XP, which should be nice. Now while I'm here just training my Slayer, I thought I'd go over a couple things for you guys. This video has been really fast paced and I haven't really gotten a chance to explain my plans this tourney. In the usual one week long tourneys, I'd start PKing from day 2. And PK all the way up until day 6, using the first day to get PK ready obviously. 
and using the seventh and final day just to do last and final preparations for the 1v1s. But with a month long tournament, things are completely different. In my other day one videos, you probably see me chinning or bursting at this point in the video, getting ready to PK on day two with some fairly low melee stats. I've decided that instead of using day two to PK, I'm gonna use both today and tomorrow to get as far ahead as possible, possibly even to getting to like 120 combat, depending how badly I'm gonna sweat it out, so that from day three onwards, no one will be able to survive me, and I'll basically be able to PK for a whole month straight, which I think will end up being better content for you guys and be a more enjoyable experience for me. I am taking online classes during this whole tournament, so I think it's better that I get all my shit out of the way during the first two days so I can PK for a month straight. Okay, we've officially hit the 12 hour mark of the first day of the tournament. Within 12 hours, we got DT done, we acquired a VLS, we got our Dragon Defender. Here are our current stats. I'd say that's a pretty good 12 hours. We now have the rest of today and the whole of tomorrow to get prepared so that we can go on a PKing rampage from day three onwards. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave some support in terms of a like or a subscription if you are new. It does help me a lot, so I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.